At Premier Care Dental, we have the latest technology and a caring staff to ensure that whether suffering from missing, hurting, or broken teeth, we can provide a permanent dental solution. Premier Care Dental offers 3D imaging, dental implants, and implant-supported dentures, replacement of single or multiple missing teeth, general screenings, and more at our comprehensive dental services office. Our 16 screening rooms and multiple x-ray rooms provide ample space for everyone, and our office is kid-friendly. Whether routine cleaning or specialty needs, come into Premier Care Dental or call us today and leave your smile to us. Hello, I'm Kurt Lidke with the Herald and News. It's Friday, October 19th, 2018. Here's a rundown of some of the top stories affecting the Klamath Basin. It's the Klamath Countdown. Mac Thornberry, Republican representative for the 13th District of Texas and chair of the House Armed Services Committee, joined Oregon Rep Greg Walden in a tour of Kingsley Field on Wednesday. Kingsley is the only F-15 pilot training facility in the country, and Walden hopes that when the F-15 eventually gets phased out, it will become the training site for the next generation fighter, the F-35. The F-15 is no longer produced and the planes are getting old. It will retire, it's just a matter of when. Walden hoped the unprecedented open space and ideal flying weather of Klamath Falls would entice Thornberry to back the possibility of F-35s at Kingsley. Neither he nor Thornberry have ultimate authority over that decision. It's up to the Air Force. Klamath County registered voters will be receiving their mail-in voting ballots for the midterm elections this week. Klamath County sent out 45,554 ballots, including to registered voters who are in the armed services and overseas, and citizens who are out of state or out of the country. Lake County sent out 4,795 ballots, and California Siskiyou County sent out about 18,000 ballots. Voters need to determine not only the victor of Oregon's governor and the U.S. House of Representatives seat currently held by incumbent Greg Walden, but also House District 56 seat between Werner Reschke and Taylor Tupper, and seven ballot issues including Measure 18112, which will determine whether recreational marijuana sales should be permitted in Klamath Falls. Lake County District Attorney Sharon Forster, the former deputy DA for Klamath County, has formally submitted her resignation, according to the Oregon Secretary of State Elections Department. The resignation comes amidst a recall effort initiated by Lakeview residents against Forster, which had collected enough signatures to appear on the ballot, making that effort now moot. The recall effort was approved by the Oregon Secretary of State's office, alleging that Forster spent an inordinate amount of time away from her office, which caused her to appear unprepared in court, and that her recent practice of blocking Lake County's only elected judge, Robert Nichols, from presiding over all criminal cases was unjustified. Sue Tinniswood will be forever remembered in the Klamath Basin. She first brought women's soccer to Henley High School in the 1980s. Now her efforts are memorialized with a dedication of the Henley soccer field in her name on Monday. Tinniswood died in 2010 from colon cancer. In a dedication ceremony before a game against Klamath Union, family and friends of Tinniswood participated in the formal renaming of the field. The ambition to start the girls' soccer program began when Tenniswood attended her husband's soccer games when he was head coach at Henley. She was relentless in the effort. Henley was the last of the major schools which was given permission to have a girls' soccer team, and for the first three years of the program received no funding and Tenniswood received no pay for coaching the team. Tenniswood would coach the varsity program for over 20 years. There's a lot happening this weekend. Here are a few options to check out. Friday and Saturday mark the 81st Annual Potato Festival in Merrill, honoring the region's rich agricultural heritage and close-knit communities in celebration of the basin's most famous crop. Activities include a free potato bar on Friday, as well as exhibits highlighting photography, needlework, baked goods, and more. And on Saturday, there's a fun run, a parade, free community barbecue, live music, beer garden, and much more. Monster Max Murder Manor continues its haunted house in the Klamath Basin Community Center Thursdays through Saturday nights through November 3rd. At the Ross Ragland, a dinner theater comedy musical variety show called I Love You, You're Perfect Now Change highlights the tumultuous ups and downs in pursuit of love Friday and Saturday night. The Moose Lodge on Saturday will host a free Bee Gees tribute concert. More tribute artists come to town Sunday at the Ross Ragland when acts honoring the Beatles and the Rolling Stones share the stage. Linkville Playhouse will host its next Little Linkville performances, those are plays aimed at children, with Galactic Night School on Saturday and Sunday. 
And if you like your food spicy, the annual Chili Feed fundraiser for the Klamath Basin Senior Citizen Center will be held Friday at 5.30. And on Sunday, the Fall Festival Chili Feed at Rocky Point Fire Hall will take place, which also includes a bake sale and a quilt raffle. As always, for a full rundown of upcoming events, check out Thursday's Limelighter section. So until next week, for these stories and so much more, be sure to pick up your daily copy of the Herald and News, visit us online at heraldandnews.com.